Hello viewers, welcome to AP's Undergraduate Examination Revision Pearls. Today we shall discuss some of the important terminologies in relation to lens and cataract. These are very useful in the Viva. Also, I have indicated in this area if that particular topic is a short note, long question or both in the theory examination. The terms are arranged in alphabetical order. First Purkinje image, image formed by reflection of light from the anterior surface of the cornea. It is this image that is made use of in the Hirschberg test. Second Purkinje image, image formed by reflection of light from the posterior surface of the cornea. Third Purkinje image, image formed by reflection of light from the anterior surface of the lens. Fourth Purkinje image, image formed by reflection of light from the posterior surface of the lens. The first three Purkinje images are erect and the fourth one is inverted. After cataract, posterior capsule opacification following extra capsular cataract surgery. To know more about after cataract, you may click on the link above to watch my video on diminished vision in pseudophagia. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Anterior capsulotomy, an opening made in the anterior capsule of the lens during extra capsule cataract surgery. The important types are the can opener technique, linear or envelope method and continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Aphakia, absence of the crystalline lens from its normal anatomical position in the patellar fossa. It is in 6. Biometry, measurement of axial length and corneal curvature for IOL power calculation. Breadcrumb appearance seen in complicated cataract. Bullous keratopathy, irreversible corneal edema due to corneal endothelial dysfunction. To more, know more about bullous keratopathy, you may click on the link above to watch my video on diminished vision in pseudophagia. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Capsular excess, anterior capsulotomy performed in a continuous curvilinear fashion. Cataract, any opacity in the lens or its capsule. The word cataract is derived from the Latin word cataracta, which means waterfall. Christmas tree cataract, seen in myotonic dystrophy. Complicated cataract, cataract occurring secondary to an intraocular disease. Cuneiform cataract, a type of incipient cataract with peripheral wedge-shaped opacities in the cortex of the lens. Because the opacity is in the periphery of the lens, when the pupil is dilated, the peripheral opacities interfere with the light rays and therefore such a type of cataract gives rise to vision that is worse at night. Cupidiform cataract, a type of incipient cataract with saucer-shaped opacity in the posterior subcapsular region. Since the opacity lies in the visual axis, when the pupil is constricted, it prevents the peripheral rays, sorry, the central rays of light from reaching the retina and hence vision is worse in the daytime. That is, there is hemorrhalopia. Cystoid macular edema, collection of fluid in the form of cystoid spaces in the Henley's, Henley's layer of the macula. Dislocation of lens, complete displacement of the lens from its normal position. Distant direct ophthalmoscopy, examination with a direct ophthalmoscope at 22 cm from the eye that helps to detect media opacities. It can also help to differentiate between a mature and an immature cataract. Ectopia lentis, a hereditary or acquired displacement of the lens from its normal position. Elschnick's pearls, a type of after cataract consisting of nucleated bladder cells that develop from proliferation of equatorial lens epithelium. To know more about Elschnick's pearls and after cataract, you may click on the link above to watch my video on diminished vision in pseudophagia. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Expulsive hemorrhage, expulsion of intraocular contents along with choroidal hemorrhage. Extra capsular cataract extraction. Cataract surgery in which a major part of the anterior capsule, nucleus and cortex are removed, leaving behind the posterior capsule. The type of extra capsular cataract extraction are conventional ECCE, SICS, phaco emulsification and flax. Flax, femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery. To more, know more about flax, you may click the link above on femtosecond lasers and ophthalmology. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Glare, excessive awareness of light when too much light either shines directly or reflects into the eye, reducing vision. Glued IOL, when the IOL is placed behind the iris and the haptics are glued to the sclera to keep the IOL in place. Like scleral fixation of IOL, this is performed when there is a posterior capsule rent. 
haptics peripheral arms of an intraocular lens used for placement and stabilization hydrodissection a procedure during cataract surgery during which balanced salt solution is injected under the anterior capsule to separate the nucleus and cortex from the posterior capsule to see the animation of hydrodissection and sics you may click on the link above to watch my video on sics alternately you can click the link in the description box intracapsular cataract extraction cataract surgery in which the entire lens with intact capsule is removed nowadays this is performed only for uh, dislo dislocation or gross subluxation of the lens intumescent cataract swollen cataractous lens the complication of this is phacomorphic glaucoma in the bag placement of iol when the entire iol is placed between the anterior and posterior capsules of the lens when there is a posterior capsule rent the intraocular lens cannot be placed in the bag so the options are for a posterior chamber iol there is sulcus fixation scleral fixation glued iol and posterior iris claw lens and for anterior chamber lenses such as iris anterior iris claw and iris supported lenses such as the kelman multiflex lens iridodonesis it is tremulousness of the iris it is seen in aphakia hypermature sclerotic cataract subluxation and dislocation of the lens iris shadow shadow cast by the iris upon the lens in an immature cataract due to the presence of clear lens fibers between the iris and the lenticular opacity it is crescentic in shape and is seen on the lens jack in the box phenomenon popping in and out of objects in the visual field due to a roving ring scotoma in persons using aphakic spectacles the name is given because of the similarity to the children's toy called jack in the box where a clown jumps out of a box after a song lensectomy a type of extracapsular surgery in which the lens is removed with the help of a vitrectomy instrument it is commonly performed in pediatric cataracts Maddox rod a lens composed of a series of parallel cylinders through which a point source of light is seen as an unbroken line in patients with a normal macula it is one of the macular function tests along with two point discrimination and endoptic phenomenon malignant glaucoma ciliary block glaucoma also called aqueous misdirection syndrome often after intraocular surgery characterized by a marked rise in intraocular pressure and shallow anterior chamber atropine is the drug of choice morgagnian cataract is a hypermature cataract with a liquefied cortex and sunken nucleus if not treated the liquefied cortex can leak through micro openings in the posterior capsule and which are then uh, engulfed by macrophages that then block the trabecular meshwork resulting in phacolytic glaucoma or the lens may rupture and the exposed nucleus and cortex can incite an inflammatory reaction called phacoanaphylactic uveitis multifocal iol an iol with multiple refractive zones to enable near vision without glasses in pseudofix examiners often ask whether it is necessary to wear glasses after cataract surgery and iol implantation if the patient has been implanted with a monofocal iol then he requires glasses for near vision if a multifocal iol is implanted then spectacles are not required this is of course assuming that there is no concurrent refractive error for distance oil droplet cataract seen in galactosemia optic the central refracting portion of an iol that overlies the visual axis uh, examiners often ask the materials that are used in iols rigid iols are made of pmma or polymethyl methacrylate and foldable iols are made of silicone acrylic hydrophobic and acrylic hydrophilic materials phaco emulsification technique of extracapsular cataract surgery in which the nucleus is disrupted into small fragments by ultrasonic vibrations thus allowing aspiration through a small energy the idea of performing a phaco emulsification is that the small incision that is employed in phaco that is approximately 2.5 to 3 mm is that the astigmatism is very less since the nucleus cannot be removed through such a small incision it has to be broken up into fragments that can then be removed through the small incision uh, examiners often ask what type of energy is used in phaco you have to say ultrasound energy phacolytic glaucoma 
A type of secondary open angle glaucoma seen in hypermature Morganian cataract caused by blockage of trabecular meshwork by macrophages which have ingested leaked lens matter. Phacomorphic glaucoma, a type of secondary angle closure glaucoma due to intumescence of the lens. Pin cushion effect, a type of distortion seen with high convex lenses where a square appears with its corners stretched out and its sides pushed in. Short notes can be asked in any of the following formats. Aphakia, correction of aphakia, optical correction of aphakia, disadvantages of aphakic spectacles. All of these are also important viva questions and aphakia is an examination case in the practicals. Uh, pinhole testing done to determine whether the diminished vision is due to a refractive error or not. You may click on the link above to watch my video on pinhole which explains this mechanism. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Polychromatic luster, rainbow display of color seen in complicated cataract. Polyopia, seeing multiple images of the same object. Uniocular polyopia is seen in the incipient stage of a cortical cataract. Primary IOL implantation. IOL implantation immediately after surgically removing the crystalline lens. Projection of rays. Ability to correctly indicate the quadrant from which direction light is being projected. PR should be checked whenever the vision is either hand movements or perception of light. Pseudophakia. Presence of an artificial intraocular lens implant. A person having an IOL in the eye is referred to as a pseudophake. Rosette cataracts, stellate shaped cataract occurring after blunt trauma. To know more about rosette cataract, you may click on the link above to watch my video on traumatic cataract. Alternately, you can click on the link in the description box. Roving ring scotoma, an optically produced ring shaped scotoma seen in persons using aphakic spectacles due to prismatic effect at the periphery of the lens. Aphex who wear high convex lenses have a limited field of vision from 0 to 50 degrees. Rays from 50 to 65 degrees fall on the periphery of the spectacle lens and due to a prismatic effect get deviated and do not enter the eye. Hence objects in this zone are not visible to the eye. This zone extends all around in the form of a ring and hence is a ring scotoma. Since the scotoma is not fixed in position but changes in relation to the position of the eye, it is termed a roving ring scotoma. So whenever a person turns his eyes to see an object, objects pop in and out of the visual field, thus giving rise to the jack-in-the-box phenomenon. Scleral fixation of IOL. When the IOL is placed behind the iris with the haptics being sutured to the sclera for fixation. This is done when there is a large posterior capsule rent. Second sight, ability of a previously presbyopic individual to read without glasses as a result of index myopia. You may click on the link above to watch my video on second sight. Alternately, you may click on the link in the description box. Secondary IOL implantation, IOL implantation to correct aphakia in a previously operated eye. Snowflake cataract seen in diabetes mellitus. Somering's ring, a dense ring of after cataract formed by equatorial lens epithelial cells which is enclosed by the peripheral parts of the anterior and posterior capsule. SRK formula, P is equal to A minus 2.5 L minus 0.9 K, also called the sanders retzlaff craft formula. P is the calculated power of the IOL and diopters. A is the manufacturer's constant, which for the most common type of IOL is 118.2. L is the axial length of the eye in millimeters, measured with A-scan ultrasonography. And K is the corneal curvature and diopters, measured by a keratometer. So the two parameters required to be measured to calculate the IOL power are the axial length and the corneal curvature. Striate keratopathy folds in the Desmet's membrane occurring after cataract surgery. This is an early post-operative complication. It is temporary and resolves after a few days. In contrast to Bullis keratopathy, which is a late post-operative complication of cataract surgery and is irreversible. Subluxation of lens, partial displacement of lens from its normal position. Sulcus fixation of IOL when the IOL is placed in the Caesarea sulcus. This is done most commonly when there is a posterior capsule rent, thus pre preventing in the bag fixation. You will be able to understand this better from this figure, which shows the IOL to which the arrow is pointing, which has been placed in the bag. 
The blue line represents represents the position of an anterior chamber eyeball. The yellow an anterior iris claw lens position and the green represents fixation in the ciliary sulcus. Sunflower cataract seen in Wilson's disease and chalcosis bulbi due to copper deposition. Chalcosis bulbi is the term given to the uh, changes occurring in the eye as a result of an intraocular copper alloy foreign body. Toric IOL. IOL with a toric or astigmatic surface to correct pre-existing astigma. Viscoelastic or ophthalmic viscosurgical device as it is nowadays called. A viscous gel placed in the anterior chamber during cataract surgery to maintain the anterior chamber and to protect the endothelium. Zonular or lamella cataract, a developmental cataract where a zone in the fetal nucleus is opacified. It is the most common type of visually significant cataract. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's Ophthalmology Pulse. Look forward to regular updates. Thank you for watching.